Minecraft today, and today we're going to do the ultimate applesauce challenge. Pick three. The ultra applesauce. Pick three challenge. Pick three challenge, I think. I think that's what I said. That's think? been a long intro. So let's get started already. Okay. Alright, so tell everybody what it is. So the ch pick three applesauce whatever challenge is uh, the first thing, well it's pretty much, it's three things. The first thing is most expensive item and like money. Well, but we're doing them our most expensive pops. Yeah, so. Then the second one is most sentimental. Then the third one's wild card. Oh, and the. Uh, we're doing pops on all of them except for the wild card. And yeah. And we might have a couple guest appearances yeah. from a couple people over there on the couch. They're oh, going to weasel their way into another video, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so the person who tagged us to this challenge is Shree, the homespun queen, over at... Homespun Geek. And Kyle tagged somebody too. But uh, who'd he... He did Funko Pops with unicorns. Yeah, I think so. You're right. Yeah. All right. So first, we're doing the most expensive items. So. So gonna, the first one we're going to do is, is the most expensive. Yeah. Who, who's going to go first? You want to go first? No, you can go first. No, here, let her go first. Come on. Come on. This is our one of our guest appearances. It's right here. Get your pop. Get your pop. So this is her most expensive pop. It's Orange Bird glitter. She does not have the red cord. Yeah, it's the glitter Orange Bird Disney Parks exclusive. I think the glitter one and uh, the regular... You know, we probably should have looked up how much everything was worth before we started making a video. Yeah. I think this one's around... 45. I think, I think it's, it's 45.50. Yeah. What, do you got the Funko app in your head? You just know how much everything's worth? Yeah, I remember worth? we looked at it. Yeah, this one's really cool. And no, we didn't get it at Disney World, sadly. No. Grandpa ordered it. Yeah. Ordered it. That old grandpa, Yankee head. Old wimpy. Mm -hmm. Old wimpy. Yep. He's laughing over there. So he ordered that one for you. And this one's really cool. Mm -hmm. The glitter on it's really good. And, it's the and that's your most expensive one, huh? I think so. I have more expensive I think so. Ones. I bet I have more expensive ones. But Mine's more expensive. That's one of them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So moving What's your most expensive one? Mine is Bojack Horseman. It's funny because my name is Bojack Sin. But, so it's pretty much like the same name if you do it. He's just a horse head. Bo Jack. You're you're reaching on that one. Bo is my first name, then Jackson. It's just like Jack. I guess. Kind of like that. And there it is. What you laughing at, boy? <laughs> what year is this one? It's like 2017. Oh, like, 17. So this one is just one that I ever skipped over at the time it was made. It was like worth like ten bucks. This one yeah, used to. Disney Parks exclusive. Oh yeah. But they. Uh... And then randomly they shot up in price. Well, I remember whenever these were out, but um, you could find all the other ones in the set, but this one was harder to find because yeah. we used to see all the other ones. There's all the other ones. I don't know their name, but I don't watch the show. I just think it's a cool pop. So the dog and the cat, you'll hey, see. Hey, get out of the camera. You can find them at like GameStop on sale sometimes. People's always trying to creep in on the camera and you're standing in front of the light. Move it out. <sighs> Can't do anything. We're going to have to kick everybody out of the studio. No, no. So this one. Basement. So the dog and the cat, sometimes you can find that game song on sale. Now it's time for my most expensive one. So and it is... Freddy Funko Pennywise. The San Diego Comic Con Freddy Funko Pennywise. 4,000 pieces. I got it in the Stranger Things locker from uh, Fun Days. Yeah. It was only $50 for that. It was a little bit more than that, I think. Well, the whole thing was 50 But the whole thing about this one is the price on it... <laughs> I don't know what the price on it is, to tell you truth. I thought it was fifty. No, it's way more than fifty. But the thing is, it was it was it was right around two hundred forever. But then, I think right now it's only at like if you look on the Funko app. It's like one seventy five. Right? No, it's like one hundred fifteen. But the problem is, is if there's so many fakes of it that I don't know if that's what's drawing the price down on it. Because if you get on eBay, you can buy this exact same pop that's not real for like thirteen dollars. So, I don't know if that adds in. Because, you know, they get their prices and stuff from the Funko Ave and PPG come from, like, eBay and stuff. Oh, when I... So, 
even if even if they're discarding all those ones that are 15 or 20 dollars people are buying fake ones and selling them for 50 or 60 bucks which could bring the price down so i don't know i, I didn't look into it that much but i know that this pop after it came out a little while after that they started making a ton of fakes of it oh when i said it was worth 50 dollars it meant like the box you got it but i mean it don't matter this i mean it was good price. It's, got three it's one of my favorite movie. pops that I have. Yeah, it's just cool looking. Yeah. Well, I like all the Freddy Funkos that are, you yeah. know, somebody else, dressed up as somebody else. Especially, like, well, some of them were, it's uh, somebody else, but it's just a Freddy Funko head. I like the ones like this one where his face is painted, like the Hellboy one. Um, what's some other? Oh, the, the other one that you could have gotten in this box, the... Uh, the one from Cuphead, the devil. There was a black devil and a red devil, a Freddy Funko. I really like that one, too. There was Yoda? Yeah, the Yoda one's yeah. cool. The uh, Stranger Things ones are cool, mm -hmm. where he's um, different ones because their faces are changed, too. Yeah, the Demogorgon one, I don't get how they would do that, Pop. Mm -hmm. Imagine if they just put his eyeballs and stuff, and then he just had things coming out, and then you could just see his eyeballs in there. <laughs> okay, so since he don't even... I don't know if he understands what sentimental means. Uh, we just told him to fix it, pick his favorite pop. And who's your favorite pop? What's her name? You already <laughs> forgot her name. I don't. It's not Violet. No. What's her name? I don't know. How many times have you seen the movie? <laughs> what? Yeah, right. I can't wait. She's running. <laughs> what is her name? Void. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh! She's yeah, I think she was a um, she she, she was an ECC exclusive um last Walmart. year. Yeah, at Walmart. And Dad surprised me with it. Yeah, because I know you like this movie. Yeah, he just had soccer practice. Yeah, yeah he just got home from soccer practice. Yeah, and it, it was freezing cold. Yeah, it's like thirty degrees outside. I know. So this is a really cool pop, though, how they added this around it. Yeah. I was just disappointed they never made a glow-in-the-dark one. I think a glow-in-the-dark one of this would have been really cool. Yeah. And it kind of looks like water around it. Mm -hmm. So she's cool because they could have just made her just the figure of herself. Yeah. They could not have added the thing around her. Mm -hmm. That's a big... That's a big thing that they added around it. Yeah, there's not very many pops with stuff like that. Well, now they're starting to do, like, a lot of the My Hero Academia and stuff. They have, like, different stuff around them, but there's not too many pops of them. Like all, all, now, what's your favorite um, um, Incredibles one? Fire Jack Jack. Oh. Yeah. Roger Roger, only this foot's connected. Nothing mm. else is connected. This foot isn't connected, and her head's not connected. It's just that foot. I like the army men too, though. But Fire Jack Jack's my oh. favorite. Remember, it was it was that, it was hard my, finding that him. My least favorite is um. Hey, well, this isn't a Metal least Jack favorite Jack. video. Oh. We're showing off our favorite stuff. Okay. So back to the couch with you. Bye. You okay, for the second one it is the most sentimental. So sentimental means it like means the most to you. Mm -hmm. It's not because like it it's worth a lot. It just means because like it's like for your first anniversary, like. Mom could have got him a pop for his first anniversary. It's you like know, that. Mama don't like pops. <laughs> She's pops. anti pops. All right, show it off. What is it? Okay, so mine is my first pop I ever got. His leg was broken on here, mm -hmm. and his ears gone. This one glows in the dark, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, because you used to play with them whenever you got them. No, he was just sitting on my shelf. Then he keeps falling down. Oh, he was just sitting on your shelf with all no, your other no. toys. My other toys, the toys just walked him off the shelf. Mm. And then one day his ears just missing. Yeah. It's true. I bet the box was in real good shape for that one, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how a bunch of purple stuff got on the box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is that the run you wrote your name on too? Yeah, Bubba, like, he said, so me and him traded a pop so and then we did, I put a bunch of mine in his room, so he said he put, like, a letter in the corner with purple pen. I don't get it. This one glows really good, too, from so what I remember. What's one, this one's name? Springtrap. Springtrap. Is it just regular Springtrap? Because I know a lot of them have different names. Springtrap No, this something. is normal Springtrap. Gotcha. He's an awesome character in the game. He's going to find out to Freddy's if he didn't know. Third one? All right. Nope, I gotta show off my. Uh, I see forgetting. But we all know what this one is. Yeah. This is my most sentimental, and it is Ezra in Buggy. Did he just watch this? Or no, this know. one's my most sentimental because I've said it in another video. But uh, 
me and my dad used to go um, to Disney World and uh, ride the Haunted Mansion. It was always one of my favorite rides, that and Pirates of the Caribbean. But uh, so like whenever I seen a picture of this pop coming out, I was like, man, I got to get that. It's sweet. And uh, so then um, my dad ended up buying it for me. He got me a pop protector for it and everything. And it's just. Wait, he got the pop protector? Yeah. And uh, it's just something cool because, you know, it just makes me think whenever I was your age and he used to take me and we used to go on this ride. Because, like, it's it's not just the, the, the figure, it's the cart and everything that just, like, it just brings back good memories of riding that ride. And, you know, so this is just one of my favorite pops. I mean... You know, and we've got the all of the newer Haunted Mansion. We don't have none of the older ones. I wish we did, but, you know, really before this pop came out, I didn't even know that there was um, the older Haunted Mansion pops. Yeah. Oh, and I watched this girl with pops, and she had so many old Disney ones, mm -hmm. and she had the three old ones, and then she just eat the box, and she made a whole, like, tower of the box that's just being thrown yeah. over in the corner i kind of wish they would have put that in a regular box but because it's small enough to be in a regular size box but i don't know it might have messed up like it might have hit the wall yeah i mean i guess you wouldn't be able to see as much of it but yeah. they could have put it in a regular box just like the just like the um deadpool on scooter that was a pop ride and they was charging like i think it was like 20 something dollars but it was in a regular size box i know i don't know why you charge that much we got one, the Venomized one. He's on a vehicle. Mm-hmm. They don't charge much for him. The okay. Third, wild card. So just for much time. Mm -hmm. But you gotta tell the reason why you chose it. To... All right, grab yours. Hey, you need the to go cat's down there licking it. <laughs> okay, so. Easy is... there. That thing's older than me and you put together, I think. <laughs> so what is this? So he's just a figure, and it's not Baby Yoda. Not baby Yoda. Wait. This is the real Yoda. That's not, well, now it's baby. It's still my baby. Though. And he's got like, like real hair. Yeah. It's, he's it's, from... it's actually like a puppet. I don't know. His head just moves. All it says on it is Lucasfilms LTC 1981. And I believe that I got, I, whenever I was younger, my older cousin um, just gave me all of his old Star Wars stuff. Like, a bunch of loose figures none of them was in the box but they were all in good shape and i think that that is where i got this at what are you doing cat knocking the light around go fix the light okay, so yeah uh but i mean this is in really good shape for as old as it is and i mean you can put your hand in it and huh yeah <laughs> look at him wait let me do it let me do it hmm. 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 <laughs> okay Okay, so, so we just keep him. We've got a display, a glass display case, and he just stays in there. Wait, I have a question for Yoda. Should the viewer subscribe? How does Yoda talk? Ah, oh, yeah. subscribe they will. Huh. I will force you. That was probably a horrible Yoda impression, but... <laughs> I should have leave him on the table for now. Yeah. But yeah, he's really cool. So here's my wild card. There are two things. Yeah. Look, they're just, yeah. Yeah. So, these are, I've had these forever. I remember I pre, this was like one of the first toys that I ever like pre-ordered. And they're made by Sideshow Collectibles. What year are they? Early 2000s. It says 2004. Okay. And I can't remember. I haven't seen them in so long. I had to go dig them out of the box in the garage. <laughs> but they are... Um, I was trying to watch a word of wearing stuff. Yeah. Um, but just X-Files has always been one of my favorite shows, and the kids have always watched it with me. And um, wow. so this is... I'm guessing they're 12-inch figures, but I mean, they're for how old they are, they're really detailed. Like, she comes with their gun or a little FBI badge, like an old flip cell phone, flashlight... Um, like X files, like actual like folder, and then you know a stand and a base and stuff to stand on, and uh. Hey, you can't be breaking your stuff, man. So and then here, I'll give you a close up of the Mulder one, and uh, you know just the whole packaging is cool. Hey. He comes with like the needle, flashlight, an old flip phone. I mean the character itself isn't that great, but it's just everything, it's and then. After I, after I bought these two, I think like a year later, they come out with like three or four more. But 
man whenever these came out they were like a hundred bucks i think and i pre-ordered i don't have a clue of what they're worth now i haven't like looked them up on ebay or nothing like that and i don't think that they're like limited numbers or anything like that but there's old figures those yeah they're things. just old and you know they're cool because we have all the x-file pops on the back of the, the boxes it says there's another character cgb fender yeah that's a cigarette smoking man aka the cigarette uh, see fender. i think they come out with him and then i think there was maybe one i know there was one uh, agent D john doggett but i can't remember i, I want to say there was another one but i can't remember who it was did you make the monsters yeah the more popular ones mm-hmm well i I, th I wish funko really would yes it's, a, it's this 12 inch figure so and then i'll just show you the packaging on this one it's like a super big daddy but no, i mean these boxes are in mint shape because i mean i've never i don't even think i've ever took them out it looks like they're still sealed but i always just displayed them like this with it open and so that's my wild card yeah i have a lot of old x-file stuff but you know once pop started taking over it's hard to display other stuff in here with them all right wrap your video up okay so make sure to like and subscribe do all that okay i think we're supposed to nominate two other channels to do it but oh, yeah. i think i feel like every other channel's already done it because I've, I've i feel like i've watched everybody else do it i can't Pop think off? Has he done it? I tell him to do it. I'm sure he has. You yes. you friends with Top Pops like that? I didn't know that. <laughs> I was going to say. Boy. I can't think of two other channels. Does Mama J do it? I'm not sure if Mama J done it. Mama J might have done it. I think everybody's done it. <laughs> All right, just finish your video okay, up. So if if like after the video, if I think of... Uh, one, we might add If I think of two it. more, we can add it. Or one. Okay. okay so what so, are you gonna say thanks to for getting us to do this because this oh, is yeah. a fun video thank you uh sheree mm -hmm. the homespun queen mm -hmm. so go check out um homespun geek because that's where she is so she's in, so there's like a live stream every monday do something with Hoot. you can join in on that play the coot yeah that's yeah fun. it's fun so mm -hmm. you should go check them out so make sure you like and subscribe do all of that. It's been another episode of Stank Pops by Stank Popsers. Bye.